But with the regular season wrapping up tonight, the time has come to reveal the UIL playoff brackets that will feature our local teams in next week's by district playoff. 17 El Paso area teams will take the field in round one. Let's reveal the brackets. First, in Class 6A Division 1, Pebble Hills will host Permian at the SAC next Friday. Franklin traveling to face Midland Legacy at Grande Communications. Ed and Jason, what do we think about the uh, Spartans and Cougars chances next week? I like uh, what uh, Pebble Hills and Coach Mark Torres have done this season. This is They've made history uh, there at Pebble Hills. I like them against the Permian Panthers. Yeah, I completely agree. They're playing the best teams in that area, and we got our best teams versus them. Going over to the uh, Division II bracket, Eastwood with the win tonight, hosting San Angelo Central next week at home. East Lake traveling to Woolforth to face a uh, friendship. Ed, Jason, just any takeaways from these two matchups? We talked about it earlier about the Eastwood Troopers and Coach Julio Lopo Lopez. These guys have picked up momentum the last half of this season. A lot like last year, look for them to make some noise this first round. East Lake's going to have to make some adjustments before going into this game because friendship is really tough. Certainly so. Del Valle in Class 5A Division 1. Now moving on down, Del Valle will host Abilene Parkland. We'll get Amarillo. How about Del Valle playing on a Thursday night? Parkland hosting Amarillo on Friday. Bel Air traveling to Lovett Cooper. Isleta getting that final playoff spot versus Amarillo Tascosa. Guys, Del Valle has looked pretty dominant the last few weeks, haven't they? Yeah, Jesse Ramos, one of the uh, you know, one of the most veteran quarterbacks here in the city. That's the type of person, that's the type of leader you need going into the playoff. Tuscosa is a tough team to play against, but I like our teams playing at home. They have the best chance in moving on in the playoffs. Moving over to Class 5A Division 2, Canotillo hosting Amarillo, Palo Duro, Andres hosting Abilene Cooper, Wichita Falls Rider uh, hosting Chapin, El Paso High traveling to play Wiley. Um, if you're Canotillo with LJ Martin, you got to be pretty happy. Yeah, no doubt about it. Look, we've talked about it for years, for decades even, about breaking the barriers down with the Midland Odessa teams. Um, next week is yeah. when we show it. Yeah, for sure. And, and yeah, and Andres uh, looks like they're rolling a little bit. Good luck to them versus Cooper. All right, moving through this now, Class 4A Division One Riverside versus Big Spring at a neutral site. Austin versus Andres also neutral site. Bowie, Lubbock, Estacado, and Irvin Brownwood. Again, those are 4A games. They will be at neutral site sale. Class 4A Division Two. Clint traveling to face Seminole, the one seed out of the District 2 4A Division Two in New Mexico State quarterfinals next week. Three seed Centennial will host Rio Rancho in uh, Class 6A um, and uh, in 5A, Mitts Mayfield uh, and uh, three seed Pierre de Vista, Gadsden hoping to advance and play two seed Roswell tomorrow in Class 5A.